Today on our 2007 Jeep Compass, we're going to be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13548. Now here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately five and a half inches. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 13 and three quarter inches. Now before we begin our installation, let's go over the tools that we're gonna to use to install our hitch today. You'll need a safety strap to help support your exhaust, a little bit of spray lubricant, large pry bar, a couple three quarter inch wrenches, three quarter inch socket, and a torque wrench. Now that we've gone over our tools, let's go ahead and begin our installation. Now we're gonna begin our installation here underneath the vehicle, and we're gonna to need to put a safety strap to help support our exhaust. We're gonna go ahead and hook our safety strap up. Next, we're gonna to need to remove this ground strap here that's connected to the muffler. Simply take a flathead screwdriver and slide it up underneath the edge. With our ground strap removed, we're gonna to need to remove two rubber exhaust hangers, one on each side. There's one located right here, as well as one over here on the passenger side. Now, in order to remove the rubber exhaust hangers, we're gonna use a little bit of spray lubricant and a large pry bar. We'll then go ahead and repeat the same process over on the other rubber exhaust hanger. Next we'll go ahead and use our safety strap as we support our exhaust to lower it down a little. With our exhaust lowered down out of the way, next let's go ahead and point out our mounting locations. There will be a total of four mounting locations, two on each side. Now over here on the driver's side, our mounting locations will be here and here. And over here on the passenger side, the mounting locations are here and here. Next, let's go over the hardware that we'll be using to secure our hitch to the vehicle. It'll be the same hardware used at all four mounting locations. We'll be using a half inch hex bolt, half inch flat washer, and a half inch flange nut. Now the hardware will be installed with the flat washer and the hex bolt being installed from the outer edge of the vehicle towards the center. Then the hitch will slide up on the inside here of the frame followed by the flange nut going on. This will be the same at all four mounting locations. Now that we have one of the bolts installed, you'll see that we just barely put it in so that it's not poking all the way through the frame. We'll then take the other one for this forward mounting location and do the same thing. That way when we raise the hitch up into position, you can simply push the hex bolts through the hitch and the hitch will be supported. We'll go ahead and install the hardware over on the passenger side as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and raise the hitch up into position making sure that we install the driver's side up first and kind of tilt the hitch so that everything slides into position. The hitch up into position and the holes lined up, we can go ahead and slide our hardware in place. Now with the hitch up into position and the bolts pushed through the frame and through the hitch, the hitch is being supported. Next we'll need to install a half inch flange nut on each of the bolts. Now it's a little hard to see here because of the angle, but we will need to reach up on this one as well as the rear mounting location is really blocked here by the beam of the hitch. So we'll go ahead and get the flange nut started on each.
Now that we have all the hardware loosely installed, we're gonna use a couple three quarter inch wrenches to tighten down the hardware. Once we have everything tightened down, we'll go ahead and switch over to a three quarter inch socket and we'll use our torque wrench and tighten everything down to the manufacturer's specification. Now with all of our hardware torqued down, we can go ahead and raise our exhaust and put that back up into position. With the rubber exhaust hangers back in place, we can go ahead and put our ground strap back on as well and then we can remove the safety strap from underneath the exhaust. And with that, that'll do it for the installation of the Curt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13548 on our 2007 Jeep Compass.